everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video now if you're new welcome we do movie reviews here some series reviews and then monthly wrap-ups so if you know that sounds interesting consider hitting that subscribe button we are on the road to 500 subscribers so i am finally getting to do this damn video Part three, Money Heist, Casa de Papel. Um, you can catch the first two um, seasons or two, first two parts, those reviews. They're on my channel. I'll link them down below if you missed them. A couple other series reviews that are coming your way would be season one of The Handmaid's Tale. And I did do a poll on my Instagram. I had a couple, couple different uh, series on there. Yellowstone, of course one i'm still on season one i think i'm like on episode five so i'm almost done with that um and then ozark uh the new season is coming out next weekend so i'm very excited for that because one of my favorite series um just you know that's currently on right now so those are the series reviews that are coming your way within the next uh, couple weeks couple months but let's get on with parte tres of casa de papel um we're just gonna go ahead and keep this one um in english as well i know i did my first review in spanish second one was in english i'll probably do the fourth one or the last one yeah you know what i'll do the last one in spanish also just kind of like starting it off and then in spanish so this is a series that absolutely bombed of course in spain uh, that's why we only had two seasons or two parts could be kind of hard to it, it, their parts um over there because it just did terribly so if you recall from what i said from season two part two shit uh whatever it ended like a, a series finale which i was fine with yes it did leave a lot of like unopened or unanswered questions rather but i feel like i was okay with that ending because i guess i knew that there was more to come but I understand for the people who were watching it and like ended with season two or just started watching it on Netflix and that's all that they had, them being upset, them wanting more. Once Netflix got its like greedy little hands on it, it just took it to a whole other level uh, with it. Um, honestly, this series wasn't my favorite. Well, this, not the series, this part wasn't my favorite. Um, you could definitely tell that there's other hands involved with it. it it's bigger uh we are in more locations here uh, we are scattered around the globe one of the things that i really love about this sh um about the show is that the characters here are not invincible we have had people get shot and didn't make it so yes we do get very surprising death here i did not see that one coming since i was never really into the show what when it was coming on i didn't know well when season five came out the character that died in this part, I honestly thought that they were going to die in part five because um, I saw clips and I go, oh my God, you died too. But no, no, that particular character died here, which kind of broke my heart because I wasn't prepared for it, you guys. We get introduced to some new characters um, as well. We do get um, eight episodes in part three. It is set two years in the future uh, from the ending of, of what happened in part two, the success of them being able to escape the authorities. Um, the professor, of course, scattered um, the whole gang across the globe, you know, basically places that they can't get um, extradited to. Uh, one of the things that the professor did, uh, which I probably wouldn't have done, but it also was, I guess, safe. At least she lasted two years. Tokyo and Rio are still together on a secluded private island. But of course, Rio, not Rio, <laughs> Tokyo, um, as selfish as she is, because let's face it, Tokyo is not the greatest character. She is very, very selfish. Yes, she cares for Rio in a sense, but she's a very selfish person. I love her because she's pretty badass. She becomes restless and says, you know what? I'm done with the island. I can't do this. I need people. I need to be around people. So she goes to the mainland. She's out there. She's partying. This is around when the government kind of catches wind of where they're at. And one young Rio gets captured. Tokyo has to come out of Heidi, has to come up with the professor, and then that's how we kind of get the gang back together to be able to rescue Rio from being tortured because he is being um, detained and tortured by this one new character, which we'll get to her um, here in a bit. What happens after Rio gets, you know, captured and, and, and Tokyo gets together with the professor and gets the gang back together, of course, the professor always has a plan. No, no, no. We are not gonna go steal money this time. No, no. We are going into the Bank of Spain to steal none other than some gold. We are also demanding to get Rio back. This season kind of went to like a whole, like a heist and a rescue. It's a lot of things happening at one time that 
again like I said it's more like a money grab deal um yes we still have the clever writing we still have you know all the good stuff going on and the the planning and the plotting and everything I feel like the magic from the previous two parts was like lessened a little bit for me uh again they were just trying to go do too much of course like the previous two seasons we do get a lot of flashbacks going on so we do get berlin back in this part um in within the flashbacks which is really nice to have him incorporated i am curious to see if he will be if he will continue to be incorporated within the next uh seasons within the flashbacks that'd be kind of cool uh because he was a really good character um again i wish they hadn't had killed him off but i understand the reason because they did think it was the end of the show right so what better way to end this crazy ass character than the way that they did as we saw at the end of season two she does end up joining them i didn't like what they did with her character either this season because she was very much involved in the first two seasons and like now she's just like the professor's girlfriend and they just kind of put her aside and i'm just like seriously i couldn't get jiggy with that i was that was one of the things that made me really mad is what they did with her character she's kind of like popping up from little things really hardly had anything to say very much like i'm a criminal now like this is my life oh so let me circle back to the one that captured rio and is torturing him it is new character singer actress I'm gonna totally botch her name, you guys. I'm not even gonna try to say her name. Y'all see it on the screen. She plays Alicia Sierra. Her character is described as la reina de las hijas de perra, the queen of sons of bitches, and proves to be a ruthless woman keen on catching um, our sympathetic criminals. The new Raquel, who Raquel was, and now she's like, well, no, she's like way better. Because she's also like, what's it called? Um, torturing real. But you guys, she's pregnant. Yeah, there's a baby here, but like, whatever. I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna be that bad bitch. And I love it. I love that they did that with that character. I can't wait to see where, I mean, she is like, whoo! Because she does some stuff there at the end, you guys. Honestly, what really ended up saving the season for me was like that final episode. I think it was the final or the final two episodes. That's when things really kind of come to a whole new level of let the war begin. Um, which is exactly what this Alicia Sierra, uh, Sierra wants. I guess that's going to be like my overall thoughts on season three. Not my favorite. I know some people weren't really here for the finale of season two, but I quite enjoyed that one over this one. So hopefully season, uh, part four is like way better. Uh, kind of goes back to the magic. Have you seen Casa de Papel, Money Heights? Let me know down below what you think about well, what you think about part three. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? If you haven't seen this series, you're planning on checking it out. I do definitely think it's worth a binge watch. Um, it's really, really good. Very, very clever. I don't watch it with like the dub because uh, it's very distracting. I watch it in Spanish and sometimes I have subtitles because since they are in Spain, obviously it's a different like Spanish than Mexican Spanish and so sometimes they be saying words and I'm like I don't know what the hell that means. That is it for me uh, today. If you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new. Until next time I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!